Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And it appears that our friends with the Classic Nerd group uh, have uh, released what they are affectionately calling their Butta uh, release of the uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 variant. Um, I guess I really shouldn't call it a Cyanogen Mod variant uh, because they did actually do their own compiling and whatnot. And so... While it uses the same kernel, uh, other things might be a little bit different. Now, before we go any further, I do want to stress a couple very important things. Uh, number one, uh, Classic Nerd has done their best to make a uh, release that is uh, unique, has their own spin. However, uh, anything that is broken in the Cyanogen Mod 9 release is still broken. So in terms of uh, YouTube high def uh, playback, no, that doesn't fix that. Uh, Netflix still does not work. There are still going to be some games that uh, aren't going to work for you. The camera doesn't work. Uh, the sound uh, issues with the microphone and the um, uh, turning the device off and the sound playing not sounding all that great. Those are all things that are broken in all versions of Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, Classic Nerd, uh, the developers there, uh, I believe that they were working with uh, Evervolve and, and a few of the other developers, uh, and they have had some uh, conversations with the Cyanogen Mod people. So this is uh, this is just their own personal spin uh, on the ice cream sandwich for the HP touchpad. Don't expect miracles, but do expect it to be uh, unique in, in uh, I guess, sort of the interface sense. So let's get started here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to uh, whore out my Android uh, app. Uh, Android uh, Rev TV Android app is available now on the market, and uh, this is an easy way for you to keep track of the things that I am uh, uh, doing uh, updates as I get information, you'll get it as well. So I do recommend uh, downloading this. Uh, but let's get down to the uh, the nitty gritty here. I am on ClassicNerd.net, and this is where the Classic Nerd group has chosen to uh, release their uh, ice cream sandwich betas. And you'll see that they are also uh, the people who brought you the Xron. Uh, so if you're familiar with the previous Xron builds, uh, then this uh, Classic Nerd stuff is uh it's it's close to the same group here so i'm going to go into ice cream sandwich betas and uh, you'll notice that there's a couple files here the big one being the classic nerd butta uh 1.0 and then you'll also see that they have the uh, g apps uh 4.0.3 version 11. these are the two files that you want to download uh, the other files in here are uh, irrelevant at this point so just download this file and this file and you'll be okay and I've already done that, and I've put them into a folder called Classic Nerd on uh, my desktop. Now, there's two very, very different ways of installing this. For those of you who are brand new and have not ever uh, installed Android before on your device, uh, I know that a few of you will be watching this, you'll want to go and watch my Idiot's Guide version 2.0 to learn how to use the Universal Novacom installer and uh, get the Acme installer and all of that stuff. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that this is going to be an upgrade for you. Now, you may have been running a previous version of uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 or the Evervolve or possibly even Cyanogen Mod 7. Uh, the process that we're going to go through here is assuming that you have clockwork recovery on your device already and so all we have to do is take these files and dump them now again these files can be used if you are a, a brand new fresh install you just use these files in place of the other files uh, using the uh, using the other install videos in my channel so the first thing we need to do is get these two files onto my touchpad now I have plugged in my touchpad and uh, this is the root of the SD card. Now, somebody did ask uh, if you are doing a fresh install, the folder you would put them into is uh, CM install. It must be named CM install. It cannot be named anything else. So hopefully that helps you. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this whole folder that I've created and uh, I'm just going to dump it onto the root of my SD card. So I'm going to take this classic nerd folder and just dump it onto my SD card.
And once this is done, then uh, I'm going to switch over to the touchpad and I will uh, show you how to install this using Clockwork Recovery Mod. Okay, at the request of uh, Leo of the Classic Nerd Group, I am going to show you my tablet uh, before and after. So I'm going to turn my tablet on. It is currently completely off. I'm going to give you a uh, quick rundown here. So this is my Moboot screen. Uh, you'll notice that it has Cyanogen mod and uh, whatnot. This, uh, I have tweaked this Moboot screen a bit. Uh, if you're interested in that, I do have a video that demonstrates how to tweak your Moboot screen in my YouTube channel. So this is just plain Cyanogen mod 9 uh, alpha. Uh, I don't believe I ever put the 0.6 on, so it is just 0.5. And uh, I haven't done anything really to tweak it other than install um, no frills uh, for overclocking. I have it overclocked to 1.5. And uh, beyond that, just the random assortment of apps. Okay, so here we have it uh, with my own personalized background screen wallpaper okay and so looks like no frills has gone in and done the overclock so that's my standard boot up now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to power down the device and when the Moboot screen comes back up we're gonna take a little closer look at it and then we're gonna go into clockwork recovery and we're going to put some uh, butter on this tablet. I'm really actually anxious to see the difference, the comparison between the Cyanogen, Mind, Cyanogen Mod 9 stock and the, uh, the, the classic nerd version of, uh, of Ice Cream Sandwich. Just taking a moment to power down here. There we go. The interesting part about this uh, is, at least what I've noticed, is when I go to power down the device, sometimes it powers down completely, other times it reboots itself. And that's with the stock Cyanogen Mod 9. Okay, so here is my Moboot. And you'll notice I have boot, webOS, uh, Cyanogen mod, Clockwork mod, and then webOS recovery. So I'm going to actually go into the Clockwork mod, and we're going to get this thing uh, installed here. And here we have it. So I am now in Clockwork mod. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and do an actual wipe data factory reset. And I'm going to choose yes. I'm using my volume control buttons up at the top to move it around and the home button is enter. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm going to do a wipe cache partition and say yes. Just so you're all aware, this is actually wiping everything off of my Android. And I'm going to go in and wipe the Dalvik cache. Yes. And now I'm going to go back. All right, so now we need to install these zip files from the SD card. So I'm going to go in and hit install. And I'm going to choose zip from SD card. And I have created a folder called Classic Nerd, and there it is. Uh, so I'm going to go into that. And uh, you'll notice there's two files here. These are the two that we downloaded, the Classic Nerd Butter 1.0 and then the GApp. So we're going to choose this file and we're going to install it. Now this being a full-blown version of Android with all of the new items that Classic Nerd has added to it. Uh, the file itself, I don't recall exactly the size of the file, but it will take a moment or two to install on the device. Looks like we're 
Almost done. Excellent. Okay, it's done. Now we need to go and install the G apps as well. So I'm going to choose zip from SD card again and classic nerd. And this time I'm going to choose the G apps file and say yes. And that'll take a few minutes here. All right, looks like it's done. So, uh, with all of that done, we can reboot and see what occurs. So this will be the first boot. No, okay, so I still have my same MoBoot screen, so that's good. Uh, it didn't seem to take away from my MoBoot uh, personalization. But it does show now, instead of having uh, Cyanogen mod, it now says Boot Classic Nerd. And that's good because having both of them on there at the same time causes uh, wormholes to open up and uh, people get sucked in and uh, it's not a good thing. So we're gonna go into Black, or I'm sorry, Boot Classic Nerd. and it'll spin its wheels. Looks like we have the Classic Nerd logo. And I'm curious to see, do we have any type of boot animation? Okay, what do we got here? Very nice, okay. It's like somebody's taking some time to go in and maybe do a little Adobe After Effects. Nice. Okay, now we all know, since uh, we've done this before, is that the first boot of any new... Uh, I really like this. I really like this uh, boot-up screen. I think I'll uh, keep this around for a while. I'm, I'm usually uh, installing a different boot animation, but I think I'll leave this on. Uh, but we know that the first boot of a new ROM is always going to take uh, its time, and uh, it's putting all the files where it needs to go and acclimating itself to your system. So this is, uh, this is normal for this to take a little bit of time here. Hey, hey, cool, take a look at this. Well, this looks like a welcome screen. Okay, well, let's hit uh, start here. See what goes through. Now this uh, setup looks very similar. Uh, I would imagine so. Uh, it's ice cream sandwich standard setup. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know if uh, we necessarily need to do this. I'm going to um, skip turning on uh, the Wi-Fi. I'm just, I'm just gonna jump right in here. Okay, is this time correct? Uh, no, because I am in Eastern time. That puts us at 2.04 p.m. on February 10th, 2012. That is correct. And I'm gonna hit next. And I'm not going to go into that. And next, and uh, we'll put in me next next and finish uh okay well that's that's all well and good i don't really need to know about that all right so here it is uh this is the uh Home screen, look at that nice uh, background there. I, I like that wallpaper. Of course, I'll put my own on it. Uh, um, let's see here. Let's go in, take a look at the apps. Okay, very nice. Let's see. Widgets, calendar, news. Okay, so this is it. Um, obviously, the next thing we're going to want to see is uh, how it performs, but in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to turn on my Wi-Fi and get my, get my uh, accounts put in here. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm signed in now. I have my Wi-Fi turned on, and I've got uh, my... Google accounts set up, so I feel a lot uh, better about this now. I'm just going to flip this up here and show I am connected to Wi-Fi and the battery and all of that. Okay, and uh, 
Looks like everything seems to be functioning like I would expect it to. Um, let me just pull something out here. I'm just going to pull the YouTube out and uh, just stick it right here on the desktop. And we'll just start right there. We'll go into YouTube and see what we've got. Uh, I'm going to anticipate that uh, just like before. Uh, let me just go into my own account here and uh, let's see they give me the ability to look at my own videos it does alright so let me just take a look here and see what happens when I try to play one of these videos now uh, it's not going to play until I turn the HD off yes thank you uh, if I turn the HD off it should play just fine so there it goes sounds like the volume is working okay okay so I can go in here and it does show that it's playing now obviously it's not HD but it's standard quality and that's good enough for me for right now okay let's go back and uh, we'll go home now let's see what else seems to be working okay let's go into the uh, market market looking good okay uh, let's do a search and we'll do a search for uh, you know just just a random app uh, oh look there's uh, Rev TV Android videos let's take a look at that okay and we can do install accept and download looks like it's installing okay uh, successfully installed that's good let's go back into the drawer and see and yes it does look like that we can uh, drop it in now what's funny is in, in ice and I don't know if it's ice cream sandwich or specific, I think it's just ice cream sandwich it automatically puts an app uh, icon on your desktop which I don't really want two of them I'll just get rid of that okay so it looks like uh, it seems to be running the apps okay. Here's my app. Yes, I know it's not optimized for tablets yet. We'll come back to that. Okay, uh, let's see here. What else can we do? We can go into settings, I guess, and we can take a look and see uh, what we've got here. Uh, let's go into about the tablet. Looks like this is all standard stuff. Same kernel as we're used to seeing. Uh, let's see, battery okay well that's fine uh, sound All right this looks cosmetically uh, almost identical to the Cyanogen Mod 9 uh, I'm sure that uh, going in and playing around with some other apps and, and, and whatnot uh, we might see some subtle differences so uh, I'll leave that all up to you to determine whether this uh, adds any major benefit or not uh, from what I'm hearing uh, it should and so I'll uh, let you now that you know how to install it go around and play with it and uh, see what's up so, this has been Reverend Kyle showing you how to install the Classic Nerd Butta ROM on your HP touchpad.